Hi, my name is Lauren Heinold. I'm from the United States, from Lexington, Kentucky. I've been living in Beijing for the last 12 years, and I'll be celebrating Chinese New Year in Beijing this year. Uh, my first Chinese New Year I celebrated 20 years ago in, uh, in Chongqing, a little village. Uh, the villagers got together and killed a pig when I, when I showed up. Uh, so it's a little bit, a little bit different, different now. I feel a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit less foreign and just, I mean, I've been celebrating Chinese New Year for so many years, it's just something that's part of my own tradition now. COVID has been around for a year now. How would it translate into how you would celebrate the Chinese New Year this year? Definitely different from last year, uh, different from originally planned. Uh, normally we'd be going to my wife's hometown in Inner Mongolia. Uh, so this year we decided not to travel. We'll be in Beijing. Um, we will still be making dumplings, but we'll do, be doing that with my family on a WeChat video call. So we'll have my parents in the US, my sister and her family in Switzerland, and my wife and I here in Beijing all making jiaozi together. So same kind of traditions, but a little bit more uh, you know, video call to it. So uh, I'm guessing you know how to make a jiaozi then yourself? I do. They're not, not the prettiest, but I can make one for sure. And how did you learn to how, how to make jiaozi? Uh, boy, it's been probably 20 years. Uh, I did it with some uh, college classmates back when I was at uh, Peking University. And my, my skills have gotten a little bit better over the years. How have you been able to carry on in doing your things in, in Beijing? Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Uh, at the very beginning, uh, you know, China was hit first and we kind of felt unlucky. Uh, but if you look around right now, I'd say China is one of the few places where things are functioning pretty, pretty much like they always have. Well, I've got a, a, two different businesses. One is a restaurant business, so it depends on people coming in, uh, which obviously when you're trying to keep people from going out and spreading COVID, that has a clear and direct impact. Uh, so there were a number of different government policies that were helpful, uh, from rent reductions to tax reductions to the government helping with getting a loan. Uh, things that kind of got us through the, the more difficult time. Uh, my other business is selling also food products, but to supermarkets and online channels. Uh, so it's called baozi, which is uh, you know pizza inside of a, of a Chinese bao, a steamed dumpling. So it's uh, yeah, it's an east-west fusion. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. Planning to expand to some other Asian markets this year, and kind of build on build on some of the growth we had last year.